Hello and welcome to the May edition of Community Connect brought to you by the Marshall Area Chamber of Commerce. This month's guest is new staff member, Marketing and Communications Coordinator, Maddie Torby, with the, uh, and she's worked with the Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being my guest this month. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Let's uh, recap a little bit what's going on happened in April, and there was a ton of things going on in April, so let's talk a little bit about those things. The Youth Sports Expo was held in the first Saturday of the Red Baron. I did mention this last month. Uh, it was an April event, and it was a very, very well attended, and congratulations to Cassie and AG for putting on a good show out there. A lot of interested parents and a lot of interested kids, and it was interactive, which really made it fun. So a lot of kids were able to try things out out there. They're, the wrestlers were throwing each other throwing each other around and it was it was a really good event and uh, it was good to see the 37th annual pre home hospice charity event and auction was held on the 23rd just a few few Saturdays ago I went to this as a very first time very smooth as a very well done event congratulations to everybody who put that on that same evening the uh, the Marshall High School Hall of Fame event was held at the Marshall Golf Course the nominees this year were Bo Bofferding Nicole Peterson Polrath Macy Michelson, Mike Fenske, Tyler Gimmestad, and the late Donnie Wigman, and congratulations to all of them. The SMSU Women's Leadership Conference was last Friday, it was well attended, my wife went to this, she had a great time, and we finally, they were finally able to pull this thing off. You know, last year, uh, it was only on uh, virtual, it was a long day on a virtual conference on a Friday, of course the year before, it got kiboshed because of COVID. So, Good job to the SMSU Foundation for putting that on. And then lastly, this past Saturday was World Fest at the Red Baron Arena. And the World Fest, uh, it was in place of International Food Festival. Uh, it was its very first of its kind. They already have the date set for next next year. I went to this in between uh, prom pictures and the Grand March, and it was really well done. They had a few things uh, on the menu there that I probably wouldn't normally have that I actually tried. And I'm a pretty fussy guy, Maddie. So for me to try some of this stuff uh, was uh, pretty, um, pretty brave on my end. So again, uh, lots of things in April. We'll talk about May in here in a few minutes. So I wanted to introduce Maddie Torvey. Maddie is new to Marshall. Uh, she's new to our staff starting on, uh, it was right around March 1st, right? Yep. Um, Maddie uh, is, uh, came here from St. Cloud State, but let's a little bit have her kind of, I don't want to steal her thunder. So give us a little bit of background yourself. Where are you from? Where did you go to college? Your degree, family, anything else you'd like to share about uh, to, the, to our watchers? Yeah, so originally I'm from Loretto, Minnesota, which is about 31 minutes west of Minneapolis, right by Delano. Most people know where that is. Um, so that's a tiny town of 600 people. Marshall feels pretty big compared to that, but pretty small compared to St. Cloud, which is where I've been for the last five years at college. Um, there I also played volleyball, so it didn't take me five years to graduate college, played my extra season of volleyball. Um, but yeah, knew I wanted to be in Marshall, and so now I'm working at the Chamber, and I love it here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tell us about some of your accomplishments uh, in St. Cloud State. So uh, obviously you just got done saying you played last fall. It was your fifth year. Um, college athletes were able to get one extra year because of COVID. So like you said, it was your fifth year. Um, tell us about some accomplishments and all the things that you're involved with at St. Cloud. Yeah, so I was on the volleyball team at St. Cloud. Um, and this past season I was able to get a lot of recognition, which was awesome. Um, including All-American, Academic All-American, Senior of the Year, um, All-Conference, setting some school records. So it was really fun to go out with a bang for my senior season. Um, I was also, outside of volleyball, I was involved with Athletes in Action, which is similar to Fellowship of Christian Athletes, if you've heard of that. Um, super involved with that on our campus. And also, I coached volleyball for the last five years since I've been in college. So. Um, got to coach some camps, some private lessons, and I got to have my own club team for two years. So that was really fun. So for those that are hardcore uh, volleyball fans, uh, being that she was in St. Cloud State, you've probably have seen her uh, down here in Marshall a few times playing against our Mustangs. Um, so yeah, it's exciting to have you down here. And in fact, because of her name, uh, I got a, a phone call shortly after she started saying, hey, I understand Maddie Torvey's in your office. 
uh, some, uh, to get involved with volleyball down here. So I know she's kind of anxious and excited. And for everybody that's involved with in volleyball to have her part of volleyball down here. So, man, you've been on the job for two months. Uh, no one goes to college and I uh, to be a chamber professional, right? Nobody, you know, there's no chamber degree, right? Yep. Thoughts on chamber work so far? Um, yeah, so my degree is in marketing and graphic design. Um, so at the chamber, I'm the marketing communications coordinator. Um, but originally in college, um, coming out of college, I wanted to work for a marketing agency because I love the idea of getting to work with a bunch of different businesses. But I knew I wanted to be in Marshall, and when I heard that this job had opened up, I thought it would be a great fit because um, I still do get to do marketing and design and work with all those businesses, although it isn't a marketing agency. Um, I think this job has been a great fit for me because um, I've gotten to work with all those businesses and get to know the area um, as I just moved here. I have introduced Maddie to a lot of people since you've been here. <laughs> Hundreds. And, yeah, right. Because there's we have a lot of different events, and I try to bring her and uh, Desiree or other staff to as many events as possible. Of course, Desiree's an event staff herself. But uh, yeah, uh, of course, Chamber Work, uh, we have close to 600 members, so there's been a whole lot of learning curve as far as the businesses here in town and the business professionals. And, you know, one of the first things we went to was the business after hour at the Red Baron Arena. Um, that right for the home show. That was your yep. kind of your instant splash, and I think you do a good job uh, remembering faces. It's just those names of the faces, and two or three times you'll you'll get all six hundred. Yep. <laughs> um, so similar to my last question, you know, the city of Marshall not as big as St. Cloud, but bigger than where you grew up, which is in mm -hmm. Loretto. First impressions of the city of Marshall. So yeah, a little smaller than St. Cloud, which is about seventy thousand people, and that's where I've been for the last five years. But I love the community in Marshall and just the people that I get to see every day. And I get to see the same people every day because it is small. So sometimes it makes me laugh how small it is and how everyone knows everyone. There's not really secrets. But um, yeah, I definitely love the community here. And people are really important to everyone around here, which is something you don't get in a big city. Mm -hmm. um, so I miss having a Target to shop at five minutes away. But having this community around me is better than being able to drive to Target every day. Right, right. Well, we are thrilled to have you here in, in Marshall, and we're glad to have you on the staff, that is for sure. And she's a quick learner. Uh, uh, she picked up from somebody that was around on our staff for many, many years and uh, hasn't really missed a beat since she started. And so we're excited to have you on the staff. So, Thanks. Well, let's talk a little bit about what's going on uh, in May. Uh, and there is a ton of things going on. Uh, this upcoming weekend, make sure you uh, it's graduation week in here on campus. So there's going to be a lot of people in town. There's probably going to be some people that you're not familiar with. Make sure you extend that welcoming arm to a lot of our guests that are going to be in town this weekend as you see them out and about. Um, but before that, this Thursday, uh, actually, uh, so today is Tuesday the 3rd. This Thursday, the Shades of the Past has a rolling event. So uh, that is uh, going to be starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So come on down for a fun time, uh, do some shopping. The ladies, if you're not interested in cars, you can go to the Power of the Purse event, which is through the United Way. That is going to be at Bello Kachina. Of course, this Power of Purse is uh, also not been, hasn't been around since probably 2019. So uh, come out and support the Power of the Purse. Of course, the United Way is a super important agency here in town. This Saturday is the annual craft fair at the Red Baron. You can expect over 100 vendors there. Uh, always a good time. Uh, gosh, the Red Baron has been just hopping recently. It's very exciting how many times that is being used. The next concert in the 2021-2022 Mayfac Concert Series is this upcoming Sunday the 8th at the, Red, at the Marshall Middle School Theater. Brandon, James, and John are a vocal, cello, and piano trio from Manhattan. Uh, this is a must-see concert. Tickets can be found uh, at the door or at the Mayfac office, which is in downtown on 3rd Street. Next Saturday, a lot of listeners will love this, is the Craft Beer Vendor Show. Uh, this is going to be at the Red Baron Arena. Tickets are currently on sale. You can go to visitmarshallmn.com. Otherwise, you can call our friends at the visit team at 537-1865. $25 ticket, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, May 14th, out of the Red Baron Arena. Also, that same day, actually earlier, you can go from one, of the, one spot to the next. So the uh, Marshall Radio is putting on a job fair. Of course, our uh, unemployment rate is at all-time lows right now. So if you know it's anybody that's interested in coming to the job fair, it's going to be 9 to 1 at the Walnut Grove Mer uh, the Mercantile behind 
uh, Bello Cucina. So businesses, if you're interested in being present, call 532-2282, the Marshall Radio, and get signed up. Additionally, if you're looking for work, if you nobody else, uh, nobody else is looking for work, or maybe it's time to uh, look for some different kind of work, uh, stop on out 9 to 1 at the Bello Cucina on May 14th. A lot of different uh, chamber events uh, going on in the month of May. But we have one unique one. We're partnering with the Career Force and the Private Industry Council. This is going to be finding out what they all do for businesses. This is going to be at the Pizza Ranch, Wednesday, May 11th, over the lunch hour. Uh, registration can be found on our website. You need to register ahead of time. So a lot of things going on, Maddie. That's a lot of events. Yeah. And I am excited that, uh, you know, last year, things were still kind of lukewarm. Of course, two years ago, everything was derailed. It's kind of fun that I have a whole slate of a, a community events that we can actually talk about here and Community Connect. All these chamber events in May and in, in the future can be found on our website at marshallmn.org. Some of the other uh, events that you can find in the community are in visit marshallmn.com. So, yeah, uh, exciting. Uh, it's it's going to be a busy month of graduations here in town, so look forward to everybody coming in town for that. And uh, thanks again, Maddie, for being my guest here, and we'll see you in June.